Well, everyone, Windows 11 just somewhat got announced and released, I guess, and this is really, really awesome. Before, we didn't really know there was going to be another iteration of the number of Windows. You know, we, people said it was going to stop at Windows 10. Apparently, it didn't. Now, one of the bigger changes, for the most part, is probably the visual changes. And this is one thing I always say, whether it's Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, these visual changes are some of the biggest things. Now, with Windows 10, I will say it is much more simplistic, which is something I love seeing. Windows 8 was a really big design change, and not every single design change is important. And with Windows 11, it looks like this specific design change is, I think, something that maybe not a lot of people wanted, if I'm being completely honest. We are getting a bottom bar, just like similar to Windows 10, but now the bottom bar is now, I guess, in center. So it looks kind of cooler. You can see we have that standard, you know, Windows icon as before. You can click on it. It gives you the same panel as before, the search and all these other things that you can go ahead and customize. So that's really the main visual change on the bottom bar. Luckily, the right part is still going to, you know, look almost exactly the same as it was before. But I think they basically did this for more of a tablet experience. That way, when you go change from something like a Windows machine to sometimes your Android device and whatever, everything is centered. You know, if you look at your gesture bar, if you look at Android, you swipe up from the center, you know, you don't swipe up from the side. And I think Windows is kind of getting into that, you know, dimension as well. So I'm cool with it. I really don't have too many problems with it, but there is something that is really cool within Windows 11. And this specific thing is actually being able to change and essentially split your specific display into two different parts or four different parts, or three different parts, however many parts you want to. And this essentially is their snap layouts type of thing. And this is something that, you know, you can download a tool for on Windows. Windows or Mac OS already existing, but Windows 11 comes with this built in. And I think this is a really awesome thing. I love this type of thing. I hate resizing windows. It is the most annoying thing ever. And now being able to, you know, simply just click on that little, you know, snaps layout, wherever however you access it and being able to click on different things and all that stuff makes it a much cleaner experience in my opinion. And that is something that I really like seeing. And that is probably one of the biggest highlights and advantages going from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Now, another big thing, which I really don't think I would ever use too much, you know, and it's now the new integration with Microsoft Teams. So now you can call and chat people, you know, for free within Microsoft Teams, no matter what device they're on. So I don't really know what this looks like. If I am going to assume, I think it's something like, hey, if you have their micro, they have Microsoft Teams on their email as well, then you can go ahead and access it and, you know, text them or whatever. I don't think the way they made it look like it seemed like it was like you can contact their device in any way outside of Microsoft Teams. I don't know if that's the case, but again, that is a pretty big refresh and a pretty big design change from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And now we actually have within Windows 11, we do have, you know, several different widgets we can choose from as well. Now, this is another big thing because if you, you know, download things from the Microsoft Store or whatever, you'll basically be able to go ahead and utilize those widgets within this specific, you know, Windows machine. So that's another really cool thing. You know, I liked seeing those type of things and now I'm really happy about that. You have a couple of different, you know, desktop modes as well. So you can go ahead and kind of modify those as you will. Another really crazy thing within Windows 11 is that you can actually now download and install Android applications within your Windows 11 environment. Now, this is another massive thing. That is something that I love seeing. And I, Apple kind of did this with iOS, you know, with iOS apps on, you know, their Macs. Now we have that same capability with Windows with Android. So I think you have to use the Amazon App Store, but still, that's really awesome. And I cannot wait to actually start utilizing that. And that's essentially some of the main updates with Windows 11, you know, compared to Windows 10. If you guys have any other questions or if you find anything crazy, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Hit the like button, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hope I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.